It's 6.43 now on this Tuesday morning, and joining us we have East Baton Rouge Mayor President Sharon Westenbroom here in the studio to talk about coronavirus and its impacts here in East Baton Rouge Parish. Good morning to you, Mayor. Good morning. It is a busy time for it's the a world. Very busy time. It's a very busy time, as you said, for the world. Uh, but I am encouraged that uh, working together uh, through collaboration and being proactive uh, that we can minimize the impact of this pandemic here in East Baton Rouge Parish. Unfortunately, we have not seen a reported case, a confirmed case of this virus in East Baton Rouge Parish, but from health uh, officials and, and local leaders, we know that it is coming. One of the newest things that I think we've learned this week is the opening of the Community Testing Center there at Baton Rouge General's Mid-City Campus. Tell us a, a little bit more about this center and who should be showing up there and what you guys saw, at least in the first day of this uh, in operation. Well, this center represents a lot. First of all, it was a collaboration between our office, the Mayor's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness, and our health care providers throughout uh, the parish. And so I have extreme gratitude for them. So this uh, uh, testing center is designed first and foremost uh, for some of our most vulnerable uh, population and those who have underlying issues and risks that think they have the symptoms. What we want to really communicate is that you just can't drive up to the testing center. You have to contact a physician, your primary care physician. They have to fax in orders. And if you feel like, well, I really don't have a primary care physician, you can call 211 and they will help walk you through the process. Yesterday, we had over 180 people uh, that were tested for uh, the virus. And this is open Monday through Friday from 1 to 3, so a very short window of opportunity short in the afternoon. Window. But again, the most important information is that you can't just show up. You don't want to see yeah. these long lines and, and these testing kits run out for people who may not necessarily need it uh, immediately. Exactly. Another thing that we're seeing uh, in effect today, obviously, the closure of public places like movie movie uh, theaters, casinos, bars, restaurants, <laughs> something that a lot of people are going to have to, to deal with yeah. and find a new sense of normalcy. What's your what's your message to them as the, as the leader of this city parish that things are going to be different for a while. Yeah, things are going to be different, but the way we get through crisis is working together, and I believe uh, we will survive uh, this. I am meeting with a group of business people this morning to talk about how we can uh, minimize the Im economic impact for our city and, and for our parish. Um, I'm encouraging our citizens, and I try to practice what I preach, um, to go to restaurants and do takeout. The restaurants are still open. There is just no in-house dining, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, so I am consistently visiting restaurants in the area, doing takeout and, and pick up and going home. And so I'm gonna encourage our citizens to do the same if that's part of what they normally do. If they like to dine out, just pick up and take out at this point and, and support our local businesses through this. And really quickly in the, uh, the time that we have left, just you were talking before we came on air here about the importance of really adhering to these guidelines and to, to not think that this is something that may be overblown or not gonna affect us, but just to do our part that we can all do to make sure that uh, we get through it together. That is so correct. You know, uh, if we don't adhere to these guidelines, then we put our whole parish uh, at risk. And so going to big crowds or even creating crowded events and, you know, the president and the CDC has uh, offered guidance even in smaller numbers. Our governor has said 50 or less. And it, it's not that we're trying to be intrusive as government. We just want our community and our citizens to be safe and healthy. And so this guidance is, is necessary so we can certainly minimize the influx uh, uh, of this uh, coronavirus. And my producer is probably going to hate me because I have one more question for you. But since we have you here, does anything change once we get uh, a confirmed case in these boundaries? Pairs? We say it's inevitable, but mm -hmm. say that comes today, mm -hmm. say it comes tomorrow. Does anything change or is it just something that we kind of continue to go with? Well, of course, uh, the testing is very very necessary. When we get a confirmed case here in East Baton Rouge Parish, if we get one, uh, we will certainly make an announcement and then we will give uh, steps, our steps uh, that we will take at that time. As you know, right now we don't have a confirmed case, but we are proactive and we are prepared and we want our citizens to be proactive and prepared and to adhere to our uh, encouragement, strong encouragement to avoid uh, crowds, to practice those uh, 
uh, simple things that we've been saying over and over again. I know people are tired of us saying, wash your hands, do ex uh, social distancing, you know, don't touch your face, but you know, we have to repeat these things. And so uh, I believe that we will uh, survive this uh, working together and adhering to the guidelines that we're offering. Mayor President Sharon Westenbroom, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right, it is 649. We're going to take a quick break. We'll have uh, your morning headlines, the things that you need to know as you head out of the door this morning. Coming up next.